Well, what if your home was preventing you and your family reaching your full potential? From baby bottles and plastic toys to talcum powder and mobile phones, we are constantly exposing ourselves to harmful chemicals and hazardous materials. Joining us now to explain how we can live a healthy life in our homes is Nicole Belsma. You've written this fantastic book, A Healthy Home, Healthy Family. You cover a huge, huge range of topics. So today we thought we could focus on food in plastic containers. Mm. Now, there's been, you've suggested in your book, some studies showing a link between certain plastics, ADHD, early onset of puberty, um, autism. Why are some plastics so bad to have food containers in them? Well, from 1987, two cell biologists at Tufts University in Boston were looking at the relationship between breast cancer and oestrogen. And what they found was that the test tubes, the plastic test tubes that the breast cancer cells were in, were actually multiplying, the cancer cells were multiplying, because there was a chemical in the plastic that was causing them to multiply. And eventually they discovered that there was a synthetic oestrogen hormone in there, in the polystyrene plastic test tube, that was causing it to multiply. Since then, they've discovered that certain types of plastics like polystyrene, polycarbonate, the number seven bottles, um, and PVC contain synthetic oestrogen hormones or chemicals that can mimic oestrogen in the body. And that's what they're now concerned about, that the average age of puberty is declining significantly. It used to be the age of 16 when a woman started her period in the early 1900s. Wow. And now that's going down to around 10 and as early as six and seven. And we know, of course, that is a significant risk factor for breast cancer. The earlier mm. the age of, of their periods, the greater the risk of breast cancers. So how are we ingesting this oestrogen at home without even knowing it? We are through plastic, some types of plastics, right. those three I mentioned, but the uh, epoxy resin in many of your food tins actually contains BPA which is imparting it into the food. So if your diet is high in tin food, you could significantly increase the amount of phthalates or hormone disrupting chemicals within your body. Can God, I, babies have got a hard rap because a lot of them are on tin food well, and formula. microwave bottles. Yeah. yeah, and what about, can we go talk about BPA, what, whereabouts it is, why it's so bad for us, how do we know we've got BPA in our home? Well, the first thing you need to look at is the number on the plastic. So you'll find most of your uh, plastic products will have a, what's called a resin identification code. Mm -hmm. And this is a number nice. actually on the plastic itself. Um, the number in the triangle will indicate the type of plastic that it is and its recycling ability. Okay, I can see that. So which one should we have in our home? The safe plastics are generally numbers two, four and five. Right. That's high density polyethylene, low density polyethylene and polypropylene because they don't contain synthetic estrogen hormone mimickers in them. Mm. The other types of plastics that I mentioned uh, can be a problem. However, the problem is with heating plastics that plastics de um, leach the, high, the hotter the temperature mm. they become. So I would say as a building biologist, don't heat food and beverages in plastic at all. Ever. At all. Pulling glass. Be look, the yeah. thing that surprised me was when my husband and I were looking at creating our own um, plastic bottle range, drinking water bottle range, that the manufacturer said we're going to add other resins to this plastic apart from the one on the, the triangle to make it more transparent and to make it um, a certain colour, etc. And we said we don't want any of those. And they said, but that's standard industry practice. Mm. So that really concerned us that uh, that code does not only tells you the primary resin, not all the other chemicals in it. And can governments mm. do something about this? I mean, isn't there, if this has got now a causal link between these plastics and health outcomes for people, consumers, shouldn't there be some sort of government body saying, actually, can you cut out the synthetic estrogen mimic whatever they are, imitators? Yeah, well, there's two problems with the way in which our regulatory authorities regulate these issues. And firstly, they wait until the evidence is conclusive, mm. which means it stays in for generations, right. exposure for decades, because we're talking about 10, 20 years down the track when a child gets into puberty, then wants to have children and is now infertile. The other issue is that Food Standards Australia have indicated in terms of that the levels are so low that they're not going to be a problem. But these chemicals are not like any other chemicals we've ever exposed ourselves to. Yeah. These chemicals are hormone disruptors, which means you only need in the parts per trillion to have an impact yeah. on the body. And other countries, the point is other countries have banned them, but the Australian government won't ban them. Um, can we move on to maybe just some solutions so people at home yes. aren't panicking? Yes, sure. Um, one thing we'd suggest, would you suggest, is always heat things in glass or ceramic? Definitely. Go so back do we take, to basics. Let's have a look at this one. Do, should we take 
the plastic top off when we heat? Look, the, the main thing in relation to that is that as long as the plastic lid isn't contacting the food while it's being heated, right. you can find some like, for example, you at Pyrex, oh, okay. where you can have little openers on the plastic lid and you can put in the microwave. Right. And that'd be the same with cling wrap as well, would it be? Yes. The plastics are inherently very brittle. Many mm. are brittle, which means the more uh, plasticizers you add to a plastic, the more phthalates and endocrine disrupting chemicals it's likely to have. Mm. Oh, so, so pulling the melted glad wrap out of my little red hey, lasagna is not good. No, you're, no, no, you're, you're making too. it yeah. Nicole, when Glenn said glad wrap, why are you... I didn't say, I said cling wrap. Cling wrap, cling wrap. Cling wrap. Yeah. Look, cling wrap, it can be made from safer plastics, but all plastics leach the hotter they get. Right. So don't, you can store them in your safe plastics, food and beverages, but don't heat plastics. Okay. Because they leach not just the, the, the plastic, but other resins and other chemicals but into the food. only when they're hot, so if you're covering it in the fridge, that's fine. Providing it's a safe place. If this is frozen, if, if I've got a bit of beef bourguignon in there frozen, oh, nice. I wait until yeah, no, yum. <laughs> yesterday. Um, I wait until it's loose enough to get out, tip it into a glass, defrost it in the microwave. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And Easy. so, babe, and obviously, babies, we, we bottles. If you're a mum at home, we should be heating. I mean, one thing I learnt in hospital: don't put it in the microwave in the start if you can. Don't put your baby in the microwave. No. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very good advice. Heat the milk in a glass bottle, yes. and then try and put if you can use a glass bottle for your baby. And one just quick yes. one: uh, drinking bottles left in the car that's not a good thing it's sunlight big no. well, yeah because mm. it heats up and then you're yeah, it, it drinking the mimickers yep, yep yes so mm. stainless steel is a better option for drinking from that's far more stable glass of course your Grosch beer bottles are pretty good I've got a few yeah. of them lying around as so it happened. My, what? <laughs> so the wine bottle I leave it in the car just to neck every now and then, absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was really enlightening. Please thank Nicole Bell Smart. Thank you. They're just little bits and pieces you can do and then you don't have to freak out quite so much. Everyone who says to their audience is going home with a copy of her book, yeah. Healthy Home, Healthy Family. And one of these BPA-free drink bottles, so you're doing the same thing. <laughs> You are watching the circle. <laughs> <laughs>